Hey, y'all, I wanted to share with you my newly updated Google Classroom Masterclass. So I have updated all the lessons, the resources, given you even more tips than before. So if you are looking to learn more about Google Classroom, maybe you're a beginner, maybe you've never used it at all and you're really curious, or maybe you've been using it and frankly, you just are scratching the surface on being able to use it and understand all the features, this course will take your skills to the next level. So I'm logged in as a user right now into the class and I want to show you exactly how this looks inside the Teachable platform. So I'm in here as a student. It's showing that I've actually already completed the entire course, but I want to jump to lesson one. So you can see the design of this course is how to now do. So every lesson is going to walk you through the how to steps of that particular topic. So lesson one is introduction and creating your first class. And then you'll see the steps, how to do it on your own to practice what you've learned in that lesson. And almost every lesson has additional resources and other things listed below. So you can see over here to the left, these are all of our lessons. And you're going to learn how to add students and co-teachers, create assignments, organize those assignments and materials, communicate with students. I'm going to show you the student view. This one's always a toughie because teachers don't always have access to see what it looks like when you're logged in as a student. So I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like, including the new updated student submit page. So things have moved around and you may want to see exactly what that looks like. We've also got a lesson on calendar settings and archival. I'm going to walk you through feedback, assessment, grading, including the new gradebook functionality inside Google Classroom and how to communicate with parents and guardians. And that, of course, is not all. We've got five bonus lessons. Bonus number one, how to package your digital assignments. So these are all of my best tips. And some of them are very googly, but some of these are just best practices in teaching and learning and using online tools. So then we're going to move into some Google Chrome tips and extensions that are going to make Google Classroom even better, as well as my best practices and tips for Google Classroom. And bonus number four is going to include all of my Google Classroom resources from everywhere that you can get. I'm not even going to show you the whole page because this is a really long page. And then, of course, bonus number five is going to be how to create a locked Google quiz assignment. So using that locked mode in Google quizzes, including that special functionality that's only available on Chromebooks. And then, of course, you're going to get a certificate at the end. So once you've completed this, you will get a six hour professional learning certificate that you can turn into your administrator. So I hope you love this course and that you want to join the thousands of other educators who have used this to improve teaching and learning and transform their classrooms. And if you're interested in learning more, you can go to googleclassroomcourse.com to learn more.